Hey, how's it going guys? It's Monday night and I'm just hanging out down here in my man cave watching the National Championship football game. And I was thinking, since I'm going to be hanging out down here for a couple hours watching this game, I might as well be productive while I'm watching it, right? So I thought, while I'm watching the game, I'm going to build an indoor firing range for my air guns, my BB guns, pellet guns, airsoft guns, you know, a safe target that I can shoot into that will stop any of the BBs or pellets and make for a safe, safe target. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. My plan is to use a, a large cardboard box and then I'll hang three curtains made out of old carpet scraps spaced apart from each other in the back of it, which will easily stop any BBs or pellets that go into the target and then they'll just drop to the floor of the box. So I've got my cardboard box, I've got my carpet scraps, and now all I have to do is build it. So let's go for it. And then, when Danelle gets home from Bible study, I'm going to see if I can get her to take me on in a little target competition. Think she can beat me? Probably. So I don't actually have everything I need to build this thing. To hang the carpet scraps, I'm going to use zip ties, and I don't actually have any zip ties. Well, I actually have some. But somehow I always manage to lose all my zip ties. Whenever I need them, I can't find them. When I don't need them, I always find them. So the first thing I need to do is run over to Walmart and buy a package of zip ties. So, let's go. Well, I'm here. I thought I would look and see what they have for like printed targets or any kind of shooting targets to make it a little more fun. Oh my god, I shot my eye out! Alright, so I've got these kind of angle iron kind of cardboard pieces. I'm going to drill holes in these and kind of use them as a cross beam across the top of the target and hang the carpet pieces from these. Because if I put zip ties just through a cardboard box, the weight of the carpet's just going to rip those zip ties right through the cardboard. But this, it, it's not going to be cutting through these. So now I'm going to drill some holes into these to hang the carpet. So I got the target box done for my shooting range and it is right back there over my shoulder. I've put a pizza box in it for right now. I'm going to fire the first shot and see if the backdrop stops the BBs. There's nothing behind the target of any value so if it goes through it doesn't. I don't really care. So, But here's hoping that it stops the BBs. I think three pieces of carpet will definitely stop it. Let's see how it does. And to fire the first shot, I'm going to be using a pistol revolver BB gun, pellet gun, that I just got this last weekend. It's pretty cool. Let me give you a little close-up of it. So here she is. Pretty sweet uh, revolver. It actually has shells in it that you just put the BB in the tip of the shell. And then you load it up in the gun. Just like that. And... Put the safety on. It's always important to follow gun safety rules when you're dealing with any kind of firearm, whether it's a airsoft gun, a BB gun, pellet gun, a rifle, whatever it is, always be safe. Always wear eye protection when you're shooting one, even airsoft, because those things can ricochet and they can hit you right in the eye and you could lose your sight. So it's very important to wear eye protection. Glasses are not enough because they can get in the side. You want to wear something that wraps around the side of your head and protects your eyes from all sides and angles. So always be safe. Now let's see if this BB trap I built is going to work. Well that sounded promising. Sounded like I heard the BB just drop in the bottom of the trap. So let's go see. There's the hole in the box. Hole in the back of the box. And There's the BB. 
All right, so I would say it was definite overkill with the three layers of carpet because that BB didn't even go through the first layer of carpet. So we're good with the three layers. Nothing's getting through the back of this BB trap and they'll all just drop to the bottom and it didn't ricochet back out, which is good. The swinging carpet absorbed the impact of the BB and just dropped it safely to the floor of the box. Now to see if Danelle will come down here and take me on a little bit of target practice. Ready for a shootout? Sure. We each get six shots. So one, one loading of the gun. And that's the target. The target has numbers on it, mm -hmm. which will be the points. So we just see who has the most points after their six shots. Mm -hmm. I'll go first so you can okay. see it and hear it. Okay. Okay. Oof. I missed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you hit the paper down in the lower left. Oh, yeah, good job. <laughs> okay, my picture, this is... Whose face should this be? Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It begin. <laughs> All right, is here it, you go. Is this ready to go? Yep, it's ready to go. Safety's off. Ooh, holy crap. Hang on. Tip up, don't point down range. First shot. I might be worried. Nice. Toya, you want to do it? Do it, come on. All right, so we have a surprise contestant in our shooting contest. Victoria is gonna take a turn and see how she can do. Oh, I'm bottom left. I'm so shaky. I know, me too. I can't hold still. Ooh, good. Ooh, Ooh get the dial in. Ooh, another good. What? Holy crap. Aim All right, there, so. final tally. Let's see, I got five, You're ten. Sure in the target, for that one. And then I got four in the four because two of them hit right there. Sixteen plus ten, twenty-six for John. Now I got five, four in the three, three times four is twelve, seventeen for Danelle. Victoria got two, four, seven, ten, fifteen for Victoria. So. I got first, mom got second, and this person over here that I won't show because she doesn't want to be on video got 15. We should get Karsten down here and see how he does. All right, so now Karsten has come to take a turn. So I got 26, Danella got 17, Victoria got 15. Now let's see how Karsten does. Oof. So, let's say 8, 9, 17, 19. Oh, beat you by 2. Oh, you just beat me. Alright, well, lesson learned here is that I am the top shot of the Sholey household. Because nobody beat my score of 26. You wait till tomorrow. That's all we got for today. I'll see you tomorrow.